Hydrogen is the simplest and most basic of all elements. Its atomic structure consists of a single electron in orbit around a solitary proton. Hydrogen is also the most abundant element in the universe, making up 90% of its total known mass. Hydrogen is the fuel of the stars. Hydrogen is in the food we eat, and it is contained within each one of us. Hydrogen in its pure form is an excellent fuel. Combining hydrogen with oxygen provides a large amount of energy. Aside from the energy released, the only other byproduct of this reaction is water. As a primary component of water, hydrogen exists everywhere around us in a seemingly endless supply. Because of its abundance and value as a fuel, there has been a lot of discussion in recent years about the impending transition to a hydrogen economy, an economy where the main source of energy would be hydrogen. Hydrogen can be used to generate electricity using advanced power technologies such as hydrogen turbines and fuel cells. Hydrogen also offers a great deal of promise as an ultra-clean fuel for cars and other forms of transportation. The engine in a typical car is only about 20% efficient, while a vehicle powered by a hydrogen fuel cell could have double the efficiency. Even though hydrogen offers many potential advantages, increasing its widespread use has many challenges. The first and most difficult challenge is to obtain hydrogen in its pure form, because hydrogen is almost always found in nature bound to other elements. There are a few ways hydrogen can be separated from these other elements. Hydrogen can be derived from natural gas in a process called steam methane reforming. Currently, this process provides 95% of the hydrogen produced in the United States. Hydrogen can also be produced by electrolysis, which uses electricity to split water into hydrogen and oxygen. This process, however, is currently very inefficient and expensive. One of the most promising and economical ways to produce hydrogen is by using coal. In a process called gasification, coal is converted into a gas and then combined with water in the form of steam. This produces a hydrogen and carbon dioxide mixture. The hydrogen is then separated from the CO2, and the CO2 can be permanently stored using various methods of carbon sequestration. Once hydrogen has been obtained, it exists as a very light gas. Although only one-third of a pound of hydrogen is needed to provide the same amount of energy as one pound of gasoline, the volume of the hydrogen is much larger. The low density of hydrogen at standard temperature and pressure requires that it be compressed into a high-pressure gas or chilled into a liquid. Compressing or chilling allows hydrogen to be more easily transported around the country, efficiently stored, and readily used in vehicles as a fuel. Because current methods used to reduce the volume of hydrogen consume a great deal of energy, ongoing research is developing innovative ways to transport and store hydrogen. Due to increasing concerns over the limited nature of petroleum, there is a growing desire to begin using alternative sources of energy. Hydrogen production from domestic resources such as coal can provide clean, affordable, and secure electricity and transportation fuels. The United States Department of Energy is committed to supporting hydrogen research and development to help meet both the nation's and the world's demand for energy.